Assalamu alaikum hi everyone welcome back to my channel how are you all doing we are doing great alhamdulillah so every day we make samosas so today i thought of making something different i'm going to make samosa but this is going to be in a different shape and size and it's going to taste different as well for the dough i have taken here about 1 and 1/2 cup one and a half cups of all purpose flour to which i have added salt as per the taste and about 1 tablespoon of olive oil you can use the normal oil as well any sunflower or any other oil as per your choice and i'm going to make uh, mix it all well and then i'm going to add about 1 teaspoon of ajwain by adding water i'm going to make a a hard dough not really soft but little harder a firm dough i can say so once i'm done kneading i'll get back to the video so i've been kneading uh, for 5 minutes uh, so i've added a, a, about 2 tablespoon of extra uh, flour here i've used all purpose you can make it with uh, wheat flour as well Okay. Once this is done, I'm going to keep this aside and start making the filling for the samosa. Okay, so my dough is ready. Um, it's quite hard, not that soft, firm dough. So this is ready. I'll keep this aside for half an hour. For the filling, I have taken here boneless chicken pieces. I have taken about four to five pieces of uh, chicken. I am going to cut them into small pieces. Make sure you can make as small as possible. So I'm going to marinate the chicken with uh, one teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. Uh, we'll marinate this, fry, and then make the filling. So uh, after adding the Kashmiri chili powder, I've added just a little bit of uh, turmeric powder. A basic masala. These are basic masala. You can add any of your choice. I'm just um, adding because to flavor the chicken. Uh, and then I'm going to add. Okay, about a pinch of garam masala and half a teaspoon of cumin powder and then about half a teaspoon of uh, coriander powder so i'll mix this well and uh, let it marinate for 5 to 10 minutes Now to make the filling of uh, the samosa, here I have uh, taken a kadai. Uh, once the kadai is hot, I am going to add about 1 tablespoon of olive oil. You can use any other oil of your choice, sunflower, ghee or butter, anything. And I am going to add the pieces of the chicken. And then I am going to cook this, uh, fry this until it's done. This will take about uh, 3 to 4 minutes. Uh, these chicken is marinated and are small pieces so it's going to cook quickly so i'm going to cook it until it's soft and uh, i'm going to mash this uh, chicken using the back of the spoon because uh, i think i cut a little bit bigger so i don't want it to be you know um, big i wanted it small pieces and uh, while rolling the samosa it's going to be difficult so that's why i started mashing the chicken with the back of the spoon you can cut the chicken small as well so once this is done i'm going to add uh, one boiled potatoes and mix along with the chicken while adding the potatoes make sure you mash them and add we want a mushy uh, stuffing Okay, not the chunk but the mushy stuffing so that's why I'm going to mash the potatoes and add into the uh, chicken okay, so after adding the potatoes I've mashed them well along with the chicken so this is ready now now I'm going to add all the dry masalas uh, so here I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of uh, 
cumin powder and some chili powder as well this is as per your taste if you like more spice you can add more i'm going to add uh, about one teaspoon of coriander powder and a little bit of garam masala powder and salt as per taste also while boiling the potatoes i've added a, added salt so i'm not going to add more and our dough also has salt so i don't want it to become too much salty that's why i'm not adding more of them after adding all the dry masalas mix this well so our filling is ready okay our filling is ready so after resting the dough for half an hour i'm going to knead it for another 5 minutes and then divide the dough into two and uh, i'm going to roll this into thin roti uh, about half a centimeter of the roti uh, i'm going to make a big roti and then i'm going to uh, spread all the stuffing over it because i have divided the dough into two so i'm going to uh, divide the stuffing also into two i'm going to add only half of the stuffing and spread evenly on top of the rolled dough so after spreading the stuffing on top of the roti i'm going to roll it as tight as possible and then uh, keep on uh, rolling on top of it so that uh, all the stuffing is uh, spread uniform on uh, the roti you can do this way so once after rolling now i'm going to cut them into equal half and then i'm going to keep cutting into smaller pieces just like i shown in the video once you are done cutting them you can keep aside and make a slurry of maida and water uh, i have added a pinch of salt also uh, to the slurry today i was late for the iftar uh, i was almost 10 minutes late uh, while the azan was going on i was frying these pin wheels and uh, okay so our pin wheels are ready so i'm going to dip these into the slurry and uh, deep fry them also i have uh, made i have shared uh, chicken sandwich recipe in this video i'm going to show this after the pin wheel uh, is ready i mean i'm not going to show it uh, in between because it's going to be confusing so that's why i have shared the video after i have completed the pin wheel video so our pin wheel is ready so here i have chopped a few vegetables like uh, capsicum carrot and onion also i've taken two pieces of broccoli you can chop them into small pieces this is one of the healthiest recipes you can make it any time so for this recipe you have, you can take any of your favorite vegetables like i have taken here capsicum carrot onion and broccoli you can add corn as well but um because i was running out of time i i didn't have time to you know boil the corn separately so i was in a hurry also meanwhile while uh, boiling the potatoes for uh, samosa i cooked uh, chicken along with it so i took about 3 uh, large pieces of chicken and uh, boiled it along with the potatoes uh, with little salt so uh, i have um, and uh, grated the chicken as well so after chopping all the all of the vegetables uh, i'm going to cook them so here in a kadai i've taken about 1 tablespoon of uh, olive oil i've used olive oil because i'm going to make it healthy that's why i've used olive oil you can use any other oil uh, and i've added all the vegetables uh, except the capsicum capsicum i'm going to add in the last because i like the crunch in the capsicum that's why i'm not going to make it soft so after adding onion broccoli and carrot i'm going to saute it for about 3 to 4 minutes
so at this point i'm going to add the boil and uh, shredded chicken pieces and then i'm going to add few spices for the sandwich filling we'll need a few spices so here i've taken about quarter teaspoon of chili flakes and a quarter teaspoon of white pepper powder also i even tasted and told it wasn't spice enough that's why i've added more of black pepper powder about half a tablespoon by the end and at this point i'm going to add the uh, chopped capsicum as well for the filling here i haven't used any salt because while cooking the chicken i've added salt also i'm going to use mayo and other sauces which is having salt in it that's why i haven't used any salt now to this i'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and about 2 tablespoon of garlic mayo you can use plain mayo as well and about 1 teaspoon of mustard sauce uh, this is completely optional you can avoid mustard sauce if you don't like um, but i'm going to add here and then i'm going to add about 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of thick yogurt uh, do not use a runny yogurt uh, you can use the thick one not the runny one okay after adding all of this i'm going to mix this well and then i have taken here a uh, milk bread i couldn't shoot because i was running out of time as you all know which i've told in the beginning so i have uh, taken here milk bread and i've cut the sides of the bread and then spread this mixture evenly and here this is the time i i am told that there wasn't enough spice so i have added more pepper and uh, i have spread the stuffing evenly on top of the Uh, bread and then um, kept the other bread on top of it, and then you can grill this in the pan as or uh, you can uh, you know uh, toast this on, on a sandwich maker. So that's all for today. Take care, everyone. Allah Hafiz.